Hello, it's Friday and it's flowers for the weekend. But not just any Friday, it's Good Friday and the Easter weekend lies ahead. So with our Easter theme, I thought that I would create um, a little kind of basket style design. I've got some chicken wire in the bottom and then just securing some of the lovely pussy willow, which is easily obtainable, then um, <clears throat> I can kind of make a little cage with my design and uh, maybe some twigs from the garden. I do hope you have been enjoying this wonderful weather. At last we can feel some sun and heat on our skin, but also of course see what comes up in the garden from the week, from the long winter. And, um, and of course all those things that we don't want growing in the garden, the wretched weeds, the nettles have kicked in. Anyway, back to our design. I've got some Lysianthus just um, popping those in at a low level into the design and um, lovely purple rich colour as we race to celebrate our Queen's Jubilee. Here at Beacon Hill Cottage we're having an extra special um, Saturday uh, event with tea. We're planning the menu. It's going to be very, very royal. And of course, some floral uh, demonstrations. And I have to say, a couple of surprises, which of course, you'll just have to come and um, see what those surprises are. So we are getting very excited. June is around the corner. So, some tulips. As we know, tulips are phototropic, which means they grow towards the light. So in the morning, tomorrow, oopsie, <clears throat> we will see which way they're facing. But I'm putting some paper covered wire onto them so that their heads won't be turning into a different direction. They'll be making sure that uh, they're keeping the nice style of the design. And um, I do love a tulip. And this year in our garden, the tulips have been absolutely brilliant. The best they've ever been. So um, I think that's a lot to do with the kind of dry winter that we had. But uh, there's nothing nicer than seeing some gorgeous tulips. So keeping with the arc that I've created with the um, frame, I can then add them and we're not being precise. We're letting them just pop into the water, into the wire and uh, I'm going to turn it around and see what it's like from this angle and we're just putting them in. What could be easier, nicer? So I hope your weekend is going to be filled with all things chocolate all things cake, uh, seminal cake of course for Easter, but uh, also the opportunity to meet up with friends and, uh, and enjoy the sunshine, maybe a little bit of gardening. We here at Beacon Hill have got our jobs list, which seems to get any, every sort of longer and longer each year. We've got some new beds going in, and uh, of course the seed planting has been extremely good. So a very uh, interesting, look I've missed one of the Lysianthus, I'm going to pop it in. And um, you can see that I've created that lovely arch. I'm putting a few in the center, really nicely filling it up, keeping it lovely and fresh. And then the excitement tomorrow as to which way the tulips will be facing. Now look, we're having a break from Flowers for the Weekend. I'll be back during the summer to update you on all things here at Beacon Hill, all things floral. Um, but look, a couple of eggs just going in to form a central focal point with the design. So yes, as I say, Flowers for the Weekend is having its break now. The season of shows, events is beginning to 
take off. So we're going to be very, very busy. But keep a lookout on the website at midkimptonflowers.co.uk. But from me, for now, have a fabulous floral Easter. And I'll see you very, very soon. Bye-bye.